I'm Christian Cabral and I'm the new shipyard manager. I was born in Massachusetts and I was raised on the island of uh, Martha's Vineyard uh, the, off the coast of Boston there. Oh, well, it was kind of a family trade uh, or uh, sort of a, uh, a really an island trade. Uh, growing up on the vineyard, there's a wooden boat shop there. Um, my dad and my brother were both had both worked in, um, on board wooden boats in one capacity or another and uh, they passed that bug on to me and then I grew up in a, in a harbor that uh, was very wooden boat focused and uh, had sort of all aspects of that industry. Construction, um, marinas, yards, uh, as well as uh, sailing opportunities and, uh, and, and really it was, uh, it was hard to avoid. I've done some work on on uh, on, on boats that uh, that were not wood constructed, but the majority of the time that I've spent on the water, spent in a boat shop or spent in a yard, um, was always uh, in the construction, care, sailing, racing, um, or g general operations of, of wooden boats. That's been a, a niche I've uh, I've uh, or a, a passion I've stayed true to. You know, you always tend to sort of develop a relationship with whatever project you're working on, working for. And so you kind of, they kind of get under your skin uh, no matter what boat it is. I, I say, I've, I, I will say I've enjoyed, uh, um, you know, enjoyed aspects of, 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 of uh, different boats um, throughout my career to date. Um, I worked on a sail training ship out of Martha's Vineyard for a little while and that was working with kids uh, for week-long trips. Uh, not only a beautiful, powerful boat, but also a, a really wonderful program. Um, uh, we have a family boat that's pretty near and dear to my heart. And uh, also I've worked on uh, 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 wooden racing boats of various kinds. Uh, for the last five years I spent years on board, I spent the last five years on board one in particular. And uh, with each one of those, you, you tend to develop a relationship with the boat and it kind of, uh, it, it, uh, it, it's very rarely, uh, very rarely not rewarding. <laughs> it was a, <clears throat> a dovetailing of sort of all aspects of the maritime trade that I've gotten to be a part of. Um, as well as some personal interests, a personal interest in history, a personal interest in the stewardship of taking care of of, uh, of boats or really, you know any or, or maritime traditions and culture, um, as well as the ability to to um, work in the shipyard, work on the water, uh, work with an institution that I think shares a that I I found a you know a cultural appeal too as well and uh, I've spent a lot of my you know I, I've moved around in the time that I have spent on the water working in shipyards working on board a boat working for private clients working for uh, commercial boats um, helping to build helping to um, to maintain and and I've enjoyed aspects of all of those individual niches and then I found a job where I get to do a little bit of all of that every day I'm excited by the range of product, uh, the, the range of projects that we get to be a part of. That the yard is, you know, that we have an ambitious program for the shipyard in the next two, even two to five years. Um, I I find a particular interest with our apprentice program. Um, obviously, the Dove construction that goes without saying. That's a that's a you know a momentous opportunity for the shipyard as well as. Um, a great opportunity for, you know, shipwrights of all shapes and sizes to get to work with master shipwrights like Joe Joe Connor, um, and uh, and I I think that there really is no way to lose in, with any project that we're undertaking in the next in the next chunk of time here. My most important job for me is to be able to support the talented team we have now to be able to add to the talented team we have now 
and uh, you know I think uh, any manager this goes for any any manager of any kind but uh, you know it, being able to find the right people find the right culture and nurture the people that exist and and, and that and that's something that I'm excited to do and uh, and we got a really good group and I think uh, I think there's uh, not much that can slow them down to be honest I've visited the Chesapeake Bay in one capacity or another a number of times. Um, you know, a, a lot of these, a lot of maritime communities always tend to have, you know, a connection one way or the other, whether it was passing through or coming down here for a race, the ever famous Chesapeake Bay schooner, um, and uh, um, as well as, you know, a, a body of water that, I've, that is, uh, that, you know, uh, certainly draws the eye no matter where you are. Um, but this is the first time that I've truly gotten to explore it, um, you know, bes besides in a pa uh, sort of a, a passing or glancing way. Um, and, uh, and I'm happy I landed here.